this is going to be phase by phase by phase. We're not going to see all of a sudden uh, people filling the stadiums or filling the arenas. A glimmer of hope for hockey fans on Wednesday, as reports suggested the NHL could return to a few select arenas without fans as of July to finish off the 2020 season. But it's not as easy as just flicking on the arena lights. Travel and eating and where they live and if their families go or not. I mean, it's logistically and operationally challenging, but it's also very costly. But some good news, North American leagues need only look to the recently relaunched Taiwanese Baseball League for inspiration. Uh, they're the first to do it without fans. They had digital cutouts and they had cardboard cutouts of, of fans. You know, they were streaming it on an international stream and it was close to a million viewers. And of course, certain pro sports will have it easier, not worried about putting the golf cart before the course. I know that they have moved their tournaments into... Uh, late fall. However, it seems to be the type of sport that you can really exercise social distance. I mean, I'm sure that they could almost go back now. But drawing fans back to arenas and stadiums will be a challenge, not just with the lingering social distancing concerns, but with many reeling from the economic downturn. For certain markets, you are going to see a decrease in the ticket price. I don't think that they can go straight out of the gate with charging the full prices that what they were before. They're going to uh, have to look at their price modeling, their food modeling, merchandise. But while we wait to see what happens on the ice or the field, leagues are using this opportunity to think ahead, to consider ways to engage fans who might be trepidatious about getting back into the stands. You know, coming up with some sort of more virtual leagues, how amateurs can get involved. You know, the professional players is one thing, but you need obviously non-physical events, and this is going to be a tremendous shift of how they can... Uh, leverage and capitalize on the virtual space, which is a tremendous opportunity. In Edmonton, Cornetario, City News.